Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me. I'm starting off by applying my number seven eye cream all around my eyes. Now I am spraying my Gerard Cosmetics Mystified Spray all over my face. Um, this spray you can put on before you do your makeup and after. It's super moisturizing and it smells amazing. Now I'm applying my Teamy Vitsy Serum. I love this stuff, but I'm literally almost out of it. So I'm just trying to use up my last little drops and then I'm probably going to reorder. So now all of a sudden I magically have eyeliner on I guess yeah that happened I was actually gonna film me doing my eyeliner but I was kind of in a rush so I just hurry up and did it and just cut the camera on to do the rest of my makeup so now I'm going in with this Clarins instant smooth perfecting touch primer this stuff is amazing okay I got it complimentary from Octoly I really didn't know what to expect out of it, but I really just wanted to try it after reading like what it was all about and stuff. This stuff is amazing. You can put a little bit of this and a little bit goes a long way. You rub it all over your skin, pat it in a little bit in your problem areas, maybe where you have fine lines or visible pores, things like that. This has an instant blurring effect and I've been using it every day since I got it because I'm in love with it. but one thing that i really love about it is i have not been wearing foundation ever since i got it because it makes my skin look so nice and smooth that i feel like i don't even need to apply foundation i am going to go in with some concealer just because there is some things i need to cover up you know like my under eyes and little boo-boos here and there but when i use this uh clarins product there's seriously no need for foundation because it just blurs and smooths out my skin and i love it so now I'm just blending out my concealer, a little bronzer, and I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows now. I'm going to be using an eyeshadow from MAC. I used to use this on my eyebrows all the time and I forgot about it. And I seen it the other day and I was like, ooh, I'm going to try that again. I don't know what the color is or what the palette is called because it is a few years old, but I love using this shade on my eyebrows. So as you can see here, I am adding some extra blush because I love blush, but I'm using that new cream blush that I got. And now I'm going to apply some highlighter and I'm using this Tarte palette that I got from BoxyCharm. So now I'm going to do my hair and I was working with next day hair, you know, I washed it the day before. This Houston humidity has my hair all kinds of crazy. Hold on, I gotta put my weave in first. Okay, let me clip in my little weave. But anyways, my hair is so frizzy and fuzzy, it's not even funny. So uh, on this day in this video that you're watching right now, <laughs> hey girl, hey, I actually straightened my hair with a straightener. I wish I would have never done it because it was a total waste of time because I walked out of this apartment with smooth straight hair and by the time I got to my destination my hair was like Mufasa like I'm not even playing it was fuzzy uh, it was wavy it was just terrible so yeah this humidity is killing your girl all right
So I'm also using this, oh my god, what is it called? Of course, while I'm in the middle of recording, I'm going to forget. <clears throat> Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. Okay, and you just sprinkle it at your roots, and it feels really nasty and gritty, but it kind of gives like a little volume at your roots. I don't like the way it feels, but I like the way it works. So, I decided it was time to talk instead of doing a voiceover and fast forwarding and all that. So I'm standing in my closet and uh, we have a really nice size closet. It's a nice walk-in L shape or whatever shape you want to call it. But honestly, my closet is so messy. I don't even know what to do with it. I don't know where to put what. I don't know how to organize it at the moment. Um, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit of my closet. So the closet's pretty rough. I'm just gonna say that right now. And uh, I think I really need a dresser. I think that would help me out a lot. I just haven't found one that I would like to buy just yet. So yeah, let me give you a little closet tour. So for all my paparazzi girls out there, this is what I've been telling y'all about, about this being messy. Do you see what I'm talking about? I just have my paparazzi stuff laying around like this. This is not good. So I need to figure out that. Um, I've got a few perfumes here. I've got more paparazzi in here, by the way, and at the top in here. These are just a few perfumes, but I have my other ones in Tupperware. Uh, birthday stuff still sitting in this bag. Cat hair everywhere, no big deal. But I've got clothes up here. I ran out of hangers, so I just put some of my shirts here. But uh, these are like yoga pants and comfy pants, sweatpants. Some of my shirts are here, all my shorts, like blue jean shorts for summer, cloth shorts for summer, <sighs> stuffed animals, and a mirror, broken mirror, yeah, some shoes, I've got my jeans hanging up here, I've got all my shirts here, I've got them like tank tops, t-shirts, other, I've got some more jewelry back here, I've got purses up there, boots up there boots with the fur got my jeans here i have a laundry basket down here that is holding all of my pajamas right now and i have more clothes all over the floor uh all my dresses and jackets and things are back there hidden because i don't want to see them because um you guys know i'm already done with winter for a long time i need to put this purse up on the shelf i started using another purse so i need to put this one back Ugh. I can't reach because I'm short, so mm, I guess that'll do for now. So yeah, this is my closet. Nah, it needs prayer. I ain't even gonna show you the floor. All right, I'll give you a quick glimpse. Boop. No more. No more. Oh, there's some of my perfumes over there. All right. Anyways, so I'm trying to decide on what I want to wear today. I'm having a hard time in my brain thinking about it. I also wanted to show you guys something really quick. Um. A lot of you asked where I got this shirt from that I was wearing Sunday. So my mom, uh, even though I told my mom not to get me nothing extra for my birthday, she did it anyway because she's great, great. So I want to show you the few pieces she got me. So she got me this shirt. We got it from Walmart. And yeah, so for those of you asking where this shirt was from, it's from Walmart. Look how cute it is though. It goes off the shoulder. I love these lace pieces. I love that it's kind of got like a short cami underneath and then or tank top whatever you want to call it short piece and then the lace coming down and that kind of design so yeah she got me this and she also got me this which is so so cute let me show you so the first thing we have here is some like workout pants or yoga pants whatever you want to call them 
I call this an outfit. Not really going to work out in it because I'm going to wear it as an outfit. But look at the, um, look at the bottom leg part. It's so cute. It's got like this uh, see-through part here and like this design there. So yeah, she got me these black pants. But look at this shirt, how adorable it is. So it's white and pretty sure that's navy blue polka dots. It says love. But look at the back, y'all. How cute is that? We also got uh, those pants and this shirt from Walmart. And look, it's an open back. And then it also came with this. Like a little bandeau or whatever you want to call it. So that goes under that shirt. So when the back is open, you actually see this also in the back. It's so cute. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. And now, oh, that would look so cute with my red shorts over here. Fourth of July outfit. Anyways, I don't know what I want to wear today. To be honest with y'all, I always have a hard time deciding what I want to wear because you want to know the truth. I'd rather just be in pajamas <laughs> or wearing something like extremely, extremely comfortable. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. Like, I'm all about comfort. I hate feeling miserable. Alright, so what can I wear today that will keep me cool because it's summer but will also warm me just in case I need to be warm because <laughs> I'm always cold. Ah! Yeah, I have no clue what I'm going to wear today but I guess after I figure it out I'll do like a this get ready with me has been terrible. I didn't even do my eye makeup. I knew it was going to be too much to do on camera today. It was a little early when I was doing it. And I'm just like, meh. Mm. I am a mess and I have fuzzy hair. Just saying. This is the best I came up with. <laughs> a really old tank top. Or spaghetti strap, whatever. And some jeans. So this is my outfit of the day. I'm probably going to wear some brown sandals. And yeah, that's that. This is me. And I'm ready to get my day started. We've got a busy day ahead of us. Woo! So that part of the video ended pretty quickly. It was like I just cut my camera off out of nowhere. But Alan had walked in the door and I was like, eh, okay, he's probably ready to go. But anyway, so this is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed my get ready with me. So now, as you can see, we are driving down the road because we was driving to the airport to pick up Brandon. Yay! But anyways, um, this was actually filmed the other day and I forgot about it. So I was like, let me put this together and post it because I already filmed it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!